all right so today we have some tasks to perform i uh, this morning i ordered six uh, a319s um uh, just to fulfill my residual demand i uh, there are there are no new routes but uh, uh, my plan is to just utilize these aircrafts uh, to fulfill the residual demand on both the hubs uh, for frankfurt and uh, uh, melbourne along with these six aircraft i also have a couple of aircrafts that i received yesterday as gifts so currently it is uh, a330 with a range of uh, 10804 kilometers and uh, a319 neo with a range of 7500 both of these are currently on melbourne route i have i'm yet to configure them but um, before we do that let us see let us take a look at the network on the melbourne route and um, see if where can we deploy those so 10000 km let us sort it by distance 10000 kilometers there is not much demand on bangalore route even the same is for tokyo we have some demand on the bangkok route and uh, let us try to schedule it uh, on the bangkok route also um, this one does not have any uh, cargo demand left in fact it is in negative so we will not uh, configure any cargo load on that aircraft so going back here so mm, so this will be 162nd aircraft just 10 first class passengers and maybe this is actually a big aircraft let us let take a look at the other one that we have that has a range of 7500 kilometers and i think it is just short of the um the route that we are considering the bangkok route no, I think uh, it is well within the range, so we will instead use the other aircraft um, you know, to schedule it on Bangkok. Let's go ahead and do that. This one. This is a better option. It has lesser seat because the other aircraft, uh, I think A330, is a, um, has more seats, which may not be very efficient for the remaining demand on Bangalore route. Sorry, Bangkok route. So let us schedule it. Let us try to schedule it from 8 a.m. so that we have some revenue. We still have some uh, gap left in our schedule, especially on Sunday. So let us see if uh, if we can schedule it somewhere. Um, we have more than 24 hours on Sunday. Uh, as um, let so from 8 a.m. till the next day, 8 a.m. is like 24 hours. So on. And we want to do that on Sunday. And these are the only routes which are um, compatible with this aircraft. Again, we, I don't see a lot of uh, demand. But let's try it for Jakarta if we can. Yeah, it is still green. So we, I will schedule it for Jakarta. And we still have uh, 5 and 8. 13, 13, 13 hours, 45 minutes remaining. Let us try to schedule it for Exmouth. Now this goes into the negative. So we will not schedule it. And that's it for this. Now let's go back. Now we have an aircraft which is which has a range of ten thousand kilometers. So um just if i sort it by distance so the first three 
routes they are out of position as they are not uh, within the range of this aircraft bangalore tokyo bangkok uh, kota uh, is uh, almost done jakarta still has some demand left but i think um, let us try to we could also schedule it on the same bangkok route again um, just to see uh, if we can fill up this these demands but we also have jakarta since it is a big aircraft i don't want to waste it or what i can do is uh, cre create a route that will be within the range of 10000 uh, kilometers and uh, schedule it on that route so let's go ahead and create a new route so perhaps let's try africa let's try the south africa route anything anywhere near south africa if it is in uh, range yeah it looks like it is in range so and durban seems to be the perfect choice as far as the range is concerned let us go ahead and audit this one okay uh, this has a good amount of uh, remaining demand and uh, it is uh, we do have money to buy this so let us buy this and let us schedule that aircraft on this road. but before that let us also reconfigure i did notice that the business class passengers are not much so we will be careful about that while, while configuring so this will be 163rd aircraft in our fleet cargo let's keep it at six first class passengers are not many so we reduce it to eight uh, we also reduce this to 26 and then we max out the economy class all right and now let us go ahead and schedule it again from 8 a.m hopefully it picks up the schedule okay cool this is almost full this looks good uh, we cannot place one more air uh, one more flight but let's see if there is any other route that uh, where we can schedule this so we have around 20 20 hours of flight time approximately um, let's schedule this for jakarta again on sunday but no it is it goes into the negative um, how about auckland this also goes into the negative um how about tokyo tokyo will definitely go into the negative yeah okay let's leave it for now so we have 163 aircrafts in our fleet currently and there are six yet to be scheduled so let us accept these deliveries cool and um, where are these aircrafts right now is are they on melbourne or are they on okay all of them are on melbourne so 162 new one to six all these six aircrafts are ready to be scheduled there are not many routes on melbourne so what we will do is uh, we will move them to frankfurt and see which routes can we schedule these aircrafts on on frankfurt uh, so we this air the air a three nineteens have a range of nine thousand 200 kilometers something so let us find out the routes for them yeah so we have one for las vegas we have we can schedule one for johannesburg and we can schedule a couple of them on anant nanarivo maybe three of them so that's um, that becomes um three plus two five five aircraft and then we can schedule one for the bangalore route 
rather uh, we could we could schedule more i guess on the bangalore route so let us move all these aircrafts one by one so first let us target las vegas it has good amount of business class passengers as well let us configure the aircraft so this will be 164th aircraft it to frankfurt cargo is good uh, i think i am going to reduce the first uh, economy class passengers and increase the first class passenger capacity as well as the business class and then let us schedule it on the las vegas route cool there is still some demand left for uh, uh, there is still, still some schedule left on sunday and i really want to schedule it off on on a sunday um let's see some other route if we can schedule it how about we do it for or maybe let us just um, look at it from the schedules okay then johannesburg has some demand and even anantanana rivo so let's try to schedule it on anantanana rivo on a sunday that looks good not but not for the cargo and um the business class passengers but i guess that's okay let's finish this then the next uh, aircraft that i want to schedule is schedule on is um, okay Las Vegas it has it, it, we have consumed enough of it but I think we can still schedule one more aircraft with more number of business and first class passengers and then very less number of economy but let's not go into that uh, Johannesburg let us schedule one aircraft this has almost zero first class passengers so but the better option would be to not configure any seats for the first class passengers here okay and we will only fill out uh, fill the space out with uh, some minimal cargo um, some business class and then max it out on uh, the economy class so johannesburg aircraft so this will be 165th aircraft okay cargo looks good first class uh, i want to reduce it business class is fine and then max out on economy and move it to frankfurt yes and then schedule it for johannesburg this looks good now we have again let us check the remaining demand on or maybe i will create another video for this 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 is becoming way too long uh, and i guess we have four more aircrafts to be scheduled Oh uh, yes, we have four more aircrafts and we have some demand. So I need to move all of these to Frankfurt and then schedule it on maybe some Bangalore or Anantanana, Revo, etc. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.